I came to this program because I want to quit smoking. I feel that culture is a big part of my spirit that I've never been in touch with. I sobered up and realized that my spirit was really in need of culture. I've never been in a canoe before, and I must say it's quite a challenge. My first day on the canoe was exhausting um, and challenging for sure but after the second day it was much easier and it seemed like the sun came out just for us because we made it through the rain and the sun came out so we could have a pleasant second ride for 40 years because I quit smoke it I've gained a little weight and <laughs> the little extra weight and my lungs are just adjusting and 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 paddling it yeah it was a bit of a challenge but I mean it, it got me motivated and I and I know that I'm going to start uh, exercising here when I get back and it's just helped me out I mean it shows me that I can actually uh, I have some endurance I can actually uh work it. Yeah, it's an awesome program. I mean, uh, it really helped me. I mean, I've tried quitting on my own. I've tried uh, patches. I've tried Champex. And alone, it just doesn't work. I mean, but when you put them all together, I mean, with the Champex the support and the, and the help of the program and, and the support I get from the program, I mean, it did it for me. And I mean, I I was hardcore. I never thought I'd quit smoking ever. I thought, yeah, it was just just a matter of time before I died of a heart attack, and or lung disease or something. And and but now I don't have to worry about that because uh, I know there's there's no way I can go back to smoking. I mean, a uh, challenge for me because when I joined the program um, uh, two months ago, I thought, wow, a canoe journey. I thought. So, so, so right away I knew I couldn't be smoking as much as I was and I had to exercise also. So um, it, was, um, it was a big challenge for me at first. I thought, wow, okay, um, I'm going to do this. And then throughout the program I started learning um, other things through the staff. It felt a, a really accomplished something years and even somebody who is not going to start smoking or is thinking about starting smoking I, I really would recommend they learn proper uses of, of tobacco and what it's meant for um, at first when we did a practice it was a little scary but when I came out here it was like um, almost like I was safe, like even if we tipped, it would have been, it would have been all right. But uh, I felt like it was just so natural. I couldn't, uh, I don't have no words for it. It was just beautiful. I just want to thank all the um, AWP workers, the elders, and all the participants, because if it wasn't for any of us and any of the counselors or the elders, this wouldn't be possible.
probably smoked for about off and on probably about 10 to 15 years yeah also in the program we had some health uh, speakers come in and we watched also a video and both of those are very very informative in helping me uh, with my diet as I'm quitting smoking and helping me to feel healthier even though I do feel healthier because I've quit smoking this is have has enriched me in in so many different ways and has helped me to know uh, more nutritious foods along the way too so that's helped me a lot in health not just quitting smoking but also bettering myself body mind and spirit I am now completely clean and sober thanks to Aboriginal wellness program since the first day of our journey I have not smoked nor even craved a cigarette only because my spirit is nourished with stories and culture we are the non-smokers. <laughs> my name is Barbara Abrahams. I'm Haida Gwaii from Masset. My name is uh, Stance Tall Red Cedar, Net, Red Cedar Man. My English name's Doug. Uh, my mom comes from Canoe Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan, and my father's from Fedora, Alberta. Hi, my name's Clara Opestein, and I am Cree from High Prairie, Alberta, uh, First Nations Cree. My name is Debra, and I'm Ojibwe from Manitoba. Uh, my name is Becky Belgard. I come from Little Black Bear First Nation, which is in Saskatchewan, and it's Cree Assiniboine Nation. My name is uh, Leslie Nelson, and I'm a Kwakwala Das Nuhalt. Nuhalt is Balakula, and Kwakwala is northern part of Vancouver Island. Kwakwaka. Kwak, which means Kwakwala language people. 